What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Diaz, and I'm back for another video. So, today I'm making a taco bake, Mexican bake, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got my pan here. I got my ground meat, my taco seasoning, my refried beans, my tostito chips, some green onions, some yellow, uh, regular onions, yellow onions, um, tomatoes, and I got my shredded cheese. So, first you want to take and put the ground meat in with the regular white onion. Um, and you wanna bake that, well not bake that, but you wanna brown the meat and the onions. Guys, I'm off to like a terrible start today. Um, yeah, so you wanna brown the meat and the onions, um, but you wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So preheat your oven to 400 degrees, brown the meat and the onions, then you drain it, and then you add some water to it, and you bring it to a boil for like five minutes. Okay, then you want to take your pan, whatever you're making it in, and layer it with parchment paper, and so on and so forth. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the first couple steps, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so in the meantime, I lined my pan up, but instead I used foil. I think it seems to work a little bit better with the foil, so I line my my pan with foil, um, and then I'm going to start adding my tortilla chips and get the refried beans put on, so that way whenever the meat and the onions are done, I can top that with that. So stay tuned for me in the next clip to show you how to properly line the pan. So the next step was to drain the meat and onions and add water and your taco seasoning and boil for about five, six minutes. You wanna do it till most of the water is out. The water will absorb the taco seasoning into the meat um, so it tastes better. So you wanna boil this for about five to six minutes. I got my toppings already ready. All I gotta do is line up the pan with the tortilla chips and then the refried beans and then I can add the meat <clears throat> and sprinkle the cheese. And then last you'll add your green onions and your tomatoes. So, see you in the next clip. All right, you guys, so I lined my tortilla chips up with the refried beans. It is a little bit difficult of a task because the refried beans are so pasty together um, so what I did was is I smashed these down to make them a little bit smaller and I put just globs everywhere and let it sit for a minute and then I just slowly spread everything all over. So that's what it looks like right there. All I got to do is add the ground meat and the cheese and then it can go in the oven for 15, about 15-20 minutes on 400 degrees. So I'm going to preheat my oven now because my ground meat should be done in the next couple minutes. All right, you guys, so there you have it. It is layered with the meat and topped with cheese. And you can add as much cheese as you want. If you're not a big cheese person, you don't have to put that much. But I like cheese, so I put a little bit more. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven. I already got the oven preheated. I'm going to put this in the oven for 15, 20 minutes and then top it with that. And it'll be good to go. All right, you guys, so that is what it looks like. Mmm, looks so good. So now I'm just going to top it with the green onions. And you can add, like I said, as much as you want. You don't have to add the green onions. But it makes it look good. And then the tomatoes. Oh, this looks so good right about now. And as a matter of fact, let me see. You know the cook always got a taste to make sure everything's good. Mm -mm. Alright y'all, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications.